Most of us don't think about the energy that it takes to make the goods and products all around us. Any product that you or I use has what's called embodied carbon. That's the carbon or the water or the resources that have gone into the production of it. Things like paper and plastics and silicones and rubbers and materials that we sit on or we wear or we use in our day-to-day -day work or home environments. Via Separations focuses on decarbonizing the manufacturing of raw materials that go into goods and products that we use every day. So I grew up in Bedford, Massachusetts, and I got really interested in sustainability when I was in high school. I took an environmental science class and learned about climate change. Via Separations was born from my PhD research with Professor Jeffrey Grossman. We were really focused on improving the material characteristics of water filters. And the idea was if we could make a better water filter, then we could improve access to clean water for 2 billion people around the world. We developed a better water filter, we did an economic assessment, and there really was no impact. So I actually defended my thesis saying that we'd invented something new, but that the technology we developed was not going to be commercialized. About two weeks later, I read an article about chemical separations, and what I didn't know was that 12% of U.S. energy consumption goes into separating different chemical compounds from one another in manufacturing raw materials. It's about the same as all the gasoline and all the cars and trucks in the U.S. every year, and so that kind of blew my mind. And the thesis of this paper was, if only we had better membranes, we could solve this energy challenge. So the way industrial separations work today is like a pot of pasta. Today we boil off all the water to get to the pasta at the bottom of a pot instead of pouring it through a strainer in your sink. The problem so far has been that those pasta strainer materials haven't existed. And I said, well, I've got this better filter, this better membrane. Is there a fit in chemical separations? I'm Brent Keller. I am a co-founder and the chief technology officer at Via Separations. I remember telling a friend in graduate school that Shreya is incredibly talented, but her project is nearly impossible. Shreya more than proved the rest of us wrong. The challenge in developing a pasta strainer for chemicals is that you need that strainer to be durable to the chemical environment. It needs to be able to operate at the temperatures of chemical reactions and handle the solvents, corrosives, and higher low pH. Via Separations makes chemical purification equipment. We use a physical separator, like a strainer, to separate one set of molecules from another. We use a material called graphene oxide. It's essentially pencil lead that's been chemically treated so that we can use it as a filtration method. Our first market is in the pulp and paper industry. For every pound of cardboard that becomes a box, there's about two pounds of everything else that was in the tree, and as well as the spent pulp and chemicals. What we do is utilize that strainer to directly press water out of that mixture so that we can concentrate it without needing nearly as much energy, about 80 to 95% less. There are about three gigatons of emissions that come from chemical separations and chemical manufacturing. In the pulp and paper industry, our process will save about 267, almost 300 million metric tons per year deployed globally. A lot of what you hear about tech in the climate world is very trendy and very flashy. And what we're doing is really kind of grungy. It's really fundamental. So if I do nothing else than draw attention to this very real, very tangible problem, I'll be happy. My name is Shreya Devay. I am the co-founder and CEO at Via Separations.